Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 2 root.com for this week's round week for the GTN 7100, the international Exynos model of the Galaxy Note 2. Um, check out Phantom ROM. Uh, this is a very nice ROM. It comes completely um, de-bloated with no knocks. Um, gives you many Note 3 apps, uh, including Action Memo, Paper Artist, um, Air Command, um, to use the air command, make sure you turn it on once. Uh, once you turn it on, you don't have to turn it on ever again. Of course, you'll be able to get the Note 3 features, uh, such as pen window. And let's go ahead and um, test this out real quick. Um, so you can go ahead and open YouTube. And maybe you need to um, make a phone call or something. Um, so let's put the dialer down here. And you can be dialing um, somebody and then also checking out YouTube videos. Um, so very nice stuff. And also, of course, you do get all of the other features uh, such as Scrapbooker, um, Action Memo, Screen Write, all that good stuff. So your Note 2 is just like a Note 3. Um, so very nice stuff. And uh, as far as performance, um, this has been tweaked so you get maximum performance out of the phone. Um, and it does come with... A Note 2 launcher, uh, but it also comes with a bunch of mods you can install afterwards. And let me show you how to do this. And I've actually got uh, S5 launcher here. Um, this is uh, this is the after mod. And uh, let me actually go ahead and show you how to install this. I have the I have the um, the S5 launcher where I can go swipe all the way to the left, and it will actually bring in uh, my browser. If I go from the down up, it'll bring me my camera. And you can go ahead and choose all of that using pull up from fake jab, uh, pull up from fake jab two. Um, so this will set what you um, set from the bottom up. And after you set it, make sure you close the app. Uh, and then we do it like this. And now you'll be able to get your gallery there. Um, also for going to the left, let me go ahead and bring up uh, Google Maps here and make sure you close uh, all the apps or the that pull up app there and when you pull to the left um, you will get the Google Maps now to get this feature you actually have to get the S5 launcher uh, which is comes as a resource zip file so let me go ahead and how to, let me go ahead and show you how to install it um, after installing the ROM go ahead and boot uh, the phone and also to get uh, air command you also have to um, install the air command zip file you can go ahead and install that right after actually you can go ahead and install all these zip files uh, while installing your ROM um, so I will kind of walk you through how to install the ROM and also show you how to install the mods uh, so I'm gonna imagine that I'm installing this ROM uh, from the very start um, so it's the usual thing white factory data reset install the ROM and then you'll have to install the air command zip file and then you'll have to uh, install the resources zip file so go ahead and go to install zip choose zip from SD card um, now my files are in zero directory there and let's go to the download folder so go ahead and install the phantom uh, v2.0 that's the ROM I have after installing that go ahead and install the air command up here and then after installing that install the air uh, phantom rom resources um, all right and then go ahead and reboot and you should be um, have the rom running and once you have the rom running and you want to add stuff like s5 um, launcher with all these cool stuff in it um, go to choose it from SD card now in your main directory you now now we'll have a new directory called rom resources right there all right go to rom resources here all right in here you'll find all of the customizations um you'll be able to do on your phone including boot animations accuweather widgets s5 mods reboot menu uh let me kind of kind of show you some transparent um what accuweather widgets if you go actually into the uh the folder here you'll find the zip files and let me actually make this a little bit dark for a second here so you can see the screen better Oops, ah, hold on a second. There we go. And uh, let's actually go ahead and install some of these stuff. Let me show you the mod I installed. Go to S5 mods, uh, S launcher mod 
two pull-ups. I installed the last one here, which means um, 5x7 and 5x5, 5x7 drawer and 5x5 home screen. Uh, you can go ahead and install that. That'll give you the S5 launcher um, and also S5 wallpapers, uh, S5 launcher themes, all right, and uh, S5 apps. If you want any of the S5 apps, you can go ahead and install it here. And uh, as finder, um, a ton of stuff you can find here. So this is a little bit different from our own installer, but I kind of like it because it kind of gives you the ability to install uh, different mods, you know, after you install the ROM without having to run the whole Aroma installer. The only thing I don't like about Aroma installer, uh, if you want to change one little thing, you have to go into the Aroma installer and then run the whole thing again. And sometimes that can be uh, quite a headache. Um, here's some system UI, modems, uh, reboot menu, if you want stock reboot or four-way reboot. Sounds, you can get Note 3 sounds, uh, which I also installed. Um, if you want modded MMS, there we go. So a bunch of stuff, go ahead and install it and um, go ahead and reboot. Let me go ahead and install some of these stuff. Um, let me go ahead and change my boot animation to S5 an animation here. And that will just change my boot up animation. Um, so, and also there is stock apps on here. You can go ahead and revert back, uh, which is also good. Um, but just, just play around with it. And that's the hardcore of this ROM that you'll be able to add all of these uh, customizations. And now I have S5 boot up animation. Um, so it's sort of a different way from some of the other ROMs, but um, you know, it's kind of, it works and uh, it's interesting. And if you don't need all of those mods, you can just go ahead and use um, just what it comes with um, as it is, uh, which is a pretty good ROM by itself also. And I believe I have the Note 3 sounds here also now, uh, which I think I installed. And let's go check out some wallpapers. And I know I installed some, uh, there we go, there's a bunch of S4 wallpapers now. Um, and a bunch of other ones. Um, so very nice way to uh, customize your phone. Um, so definitely check it out, Phantom ROM, pretty fun ROM, very good performance, great battery life, uh, Note 3 features, and also S5 features and uh, launchers, um, wallpapers, modems, kernels, uh, launcher themes, a ton of things you can play with. And uh, do let me know what you think. And uh, as always, if you have a Note 2, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxynote2root.com. Uh, we update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out Video of the Week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.